How's it going gamers? My name is Rushcode. Today we're doing a deep dive into the Minecraft inventory system I made, specifically going over drag and drop functionality. For example, clicking on this coal and dropping it into the next box, or bringing a melon from here and swapping it with the coal. There's a lot more to it, such as things like, you know, stacking pieces of coal or melons together, while swords don't stack together. And there's also this other thing, which if we come around the corner here, you can see there's some collectibles on the ground, but there's a lot going on. It's quite a complex piece of blueprinting. So we're just gonna touch on a little bit of it today. And then in a future video, we'll look at stacking, collecting and uh, dropping items outside of the inventory box. And when I say complex, I mean, there are heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of nodes. <laughs> so I <laughs> I will pass out trying to just explain all of this today. So I'm just gonna go over some of them. The first to do with dragging and dropping. So when we start off, we actually start off in the inventory box. So when you click on one of these boxes here, the box itself that has picked up on the mouse click will be registered as an event and let's see um, so this will be under the inventory box itself under here we go so on mouse button down so when a mouse button is clicked could be a middle mouse could be left mouse and you have to detect which one it is and i've made it such that a middle mouse will display some properties depending on which box you click and if it was a left click instead you would then be going to interact with the box but doing so using the inventory system because it's able to control how different boxes interact with each other. It would be a nightmare to try and uh, operate out of the one box to talk to another box. So at the parent level here, we have the custom event interact with a new box. First thing I would do is register which box that was. So that is, it could be like, you know, box number one, two, three, four, five, whatever it is. And this is where things start to get a bit complicated. The mouse box is a very special type of inventory box that is attached to the mouse when you click something. So I'm first asking the question, is the mouse dragging something with it? And if it is, then there's a whole host of other things we need to deal with. But if it's not, that means we're about to pick something up. And so we would check to see if we need to pick it up. So the box we've clicked on will be assigned as uh, into this variable. And upon clicking on the box, we want to only pick up something if there is something to pick up. If there isn't anything, then the code execution stops here. So if there is something to pick up, we would go ahead and pick it up by first generating the widget for the mouse box so that we can start dragging the item with the mouse. And in order for it to keep in step with the mouse, we have to constantly update the position. Now that is done through the actual floating inventory box, which is attached to the mouse. This is a fairly straightforward piece of code. It's just grabbing the mouse position from the controller, making a vector, which is just optional, and then just plug that back into the updated position for the viewport. That viewport is the item that is dragging with the mouse. After that, it comes back to the main inventory and attempts to copy the contents from the box into the mouse box. And all of this happens almost instantly. So, you know, as we are updating it and picking it up, it will also get the information for what we want to display next to the mouse, such as the item type, how many of the same thing there are, which, which I'm not going over today. That'll be in a future video to do with stacking items and just passing in a reference for the inventory itself, because I found that to be a bit easier to work with when it comes to grabbing information from the inventory, such as the item source array that's that's the main reason i think why i do this so that because all the information about the items is based in this one variable and after that's done it empties the contents of the box i picked it out of so that's what happens when you pick up an item but what happens when you drop it into a place where it might have something it would come back here and redo this interaction, checking to see if it's already dragging something in which case it is and then does some checking stuff for the box we want to drop it into. So the box that we're clicking on now is going to be the box we're dropping stuff into. And first we want to see if that box contains anything. If it does, then we need to either swap or stack items with it because you can't have two different items occupying the same box. Or if it's empty, then we just drop the one we already have with our mouse into that box. If we're dropping it in, that's pretty straightforward. You just update that box with the information from the mouse and then delete the stuff that the mouse was holding onto. If, however, the box we're trying to drop stuff into already contains something, then we would need to either swap or stack the item. 
first thing we would check is are the items different if they are then we would go ahead and stack but if they're the same then we just do a simple swap we would first update the old box with the stuff from the new box so that we can make room in the new box to drop the item from the mouse into it that's what the second event here does give this a go for yourselves if you want to try making a minecraft inventory system i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think down in the comments below thanks for watching guys if you liked it smash like hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video rush code out